Reinforcements for our health care workers on the front lines. Seattle and the entire nation have been talking about the shortage of protective masks. And now an incredible new invention. It can clean, sanitize, and recycle. Tens of thousands of masks and other protective gear. And it's being built right now at the Camp Murray National Guard base. It comes as people keep dying of coronavirus in Washington. Today, the Department of Health reported 22 new deaths. That's a total of 284 and a little more than 40 or 4%, that is, of the confirmed cases in our state. Kyra 7's Gary Horker kicks off our team coverage tonight, and he shows us why this new machine could solve the mask shortage here in just a few days. Well, until now, one of these N95 masks could be used only once around a patient. Then it was contaminated, a biohazard, and you'd have to throw it away. But this brand new revolutionary system being built right now can take 80,000 of these every single day, sanitize them, clean them, and make them reusable using a common thing like hydrogen peroxide. The decontamination system being installed at Camp Murray right now so far is the only one of its kind anywhere on the West Coast, and it's being called a game changer. The breakthrough technology uses shipping containers to clean and sanitize 5,000 protective masks and even some face shields at one time, up to 80,000 in a 24-hour period using vaporized hydrogen peroxide and some alcohol. The decon procedure is about three and a half hours, uh, followed by several hours of aeration uh, to get to a level where staff can re-enter that space. The system was invented and rushed to market by a science and tech company called Battelle in Ohio. There are only four of these in the country right now, and they're expected to help or even end the shortage of masks for healthcare workers on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. We are really excited about this decontamination unit coming to Washington. I think really grateful that we're one of the first sites that are being selected to have this unit. The system is expected to run around the clock and put more than half a million N95 masks safely back into use every single week. So when the delivery truck shows up to drop off their next shipment, they drop off, reload with uh, the PP that's been decontaminated the previous day. The people charged with fighting the virus and saving lives call this a blessing. The shortage of PPE is serious. It's really significant. And the N95 masks are the best protection against COVID spread. And so the chance that we can reuse the masks we have now and know that we're doing it safely is just tremendous. Well, the scientists who put together this new Battelle critical care decontamination system say with their system, you can actually clean and reuse these things up to 20 times. And we're really lucky to have these folks. Right now, they only exist in Ohio, New York, and D.C. Reporting tonight from Sammamish, I'm Gary Horker, Cairo 7 News. Boy,